Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about 11 ways you can speed up your iPhone. Your iPhone is a computer and it has a processor, it has memory, it has storage space and each of those is finite. It can only do a certain number of things at one time. So everything that happens on your iPhone whenever you swipe on it or you tap on something or even when it's asleep in your pocket is using the memory, it's using the processor or CPU, it's also taking up storage space. And so iPhones slow down because there's a bottleneck somewhere. So your processor might not be able to handle everything that it's trying to do at one time. And this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is that you're running too many apps or you're running too many widgets or there's too many uh, tabs open in Safari and we're gonna go through all of those. So it's some normal problem. The second reason would be that there's some sort of a software crash or a glitch that's causing your iPhone's processor to rev up to 100%. It's like a car engine. So let's start with some basic fixes. And uh, the whole point of this is we're gonna try to make your iPhone do less work in the background so that it'll be faster when you're using it. Right, so our first tip is to remove any unnecessary widgets. Mm -hmm. Widgets are like little mini apps that run on your iPhone all the time. Yep, so just to get there, swipe left, right across on the home screen. Mm -hmm. Here are your widgets. Wow, look at our subscribers. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. It's a cool app. Yeah, I like that. So if you wanna remove a widget, scroll all the way down and tap edit. Mm -hmm. And now you can just tap that red minus button to remove widgets you don't want. Uh, I thought the fantasy widget would be cooler and I could check the score of my game and that's not actually what it does. So I'll just go ahead and remove that. Turned out to be a fantasy. Yeah, turn out. <laughs> there you go, yeah, very good. Thank you. I'll yeah. remove the chips app yeah, yeah. widget yeah. as well. That's what we're here that. for. And then just tap done. Mm -hmm. Those widgets are now gone. Our next tip is to turn off background app refresh for apps that don't need to be able to download content in the background of your iPhone when you're not using them. So let's go to settings and then general and then background app refresh. And for me, just like David, I have almost everything in this list turned off. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea at the top too, if you tap on background app refresh there, to just choose Wi-Fi because when these features allow your iPhone to use your cellular data plan when it's in your pocket. And it's a good way you can burn through data right. when you don't, you're not expecting to. So let's step back again. And for me, I just had to ask myself, which apps do I want to be able to download content like ESPN maybe? Yeah, not, not the there. Apple Store app though. No. Tap the switch, that. turn it off. So almost everything is off in my iPhone and that's gonna cause your iPhone to do less work. Yep. It'll be faster. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Our next tip to speed up your iPhone is to change push to fetch in your mail accounts. With push mail, your iPhone is constantly checking the email server to check if there's new mail. So it's saying, is there mail, is there mail, is there mail? But most people don't need to know this second if they got a new email message. For me, I set up my iPhone to check every 15 minutes if there's new mail, which is more than often enough, or whenever I open the mail app. And that's what we're gonna do. Great. Yeah, let's step back to the main page of the settings app one more time, sorry. And then scroll down to passwords and accounts and then tap on fetch new data. Turn off push there at the top, Data, uh, David, data, 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 and not from Star Trek, has already turned off push, which is yep. great. And then he changed some of the accounts to fetch. Yep. And then we have to choose at the bottom how often we want to fetch. Yeah, maybe you want 30 minutes, just tap there, blue check appears, I'll keep yep. it at 15 though. Right, that would just make it a little bit less work for your iPhone to do. 15 minutes is probably it's often it's enough. Yeah. So our next tip is to close the apps on your iPhone. It's possible that an app crashed in the background and it's just slowing everything down. Mm -hmm. I've seen apps get stuck at 100% CPU usage. So you should never have to do this. And that's why people say, don't close out your apps. But it's like wearing a seatbelt in a car. You should never have to wear your seatbelt because you're never gonna get in a crash, except occasionally you do. So how do we close our apps on the iPhone 10 and newer? Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to the center of the screen. Yep. All your apps will appear, swipe them up and off the top of the screen, right. nice and easy. If you have an iPhone with a home button, double press that home button, you'll get to the app switcher, swipe them up on off the top of the screen. Yep, and then your apps are closed. Absolutely. So it's just a way to prevent problems. Yep. <laughs> the next one is to turn off unnecessary system services cool. and location services. So let's head to location services. Settings, mm -hmm. privacy, location services. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like background app refresh in that we don't recommend turning off location services entirely because everybody wants to use GPS on their iPhone, for maps for instance. But not every app needs to have access to your location when you're using it, and right. certainly not all the time. So as you go through this list, if you see any apps that say always, I recommend changing them to while well using this app. Go. Yep. Bank account app while using this app. Why would SefQ, your bank, need to know where you are all the time? 
I don't know. When your location defines, they don't, period. They don't need to know. Right, otherwise it's just gonna drain your battery. And if it's doing that, it's doing something, it's using your CPU, your iPhone's gonna get slower. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's head to the bottom. I said this first, but I should have said it second. System services. Tap on that. Mm -hmm. And you could turn off almost everything in this list. What are, we, what are we gonna keep on? I'll be, keep a, on, I'll be a shorter list. Right, emergency calls and SOS. I find my iPhone and share my location. If you use that, I would keep those on. Your compass is still gonna work. Your time zone is still gonna work. If you're traveling between time zones, I recommend doing what we do, which is just turn it, that switch back on yeah. and turn it right back off. And then at the bottom here, there are some analytic settings you also wanna make sure are off. Yeah, just turn off all of these switches if they are on. Yeah. Our next tip is to clear up some storage space on your iPhone. All right, let's do it. Let's head back and then back to privacy and then settings. Oof. All right. General. General, yep, yeah. iPhone, iPhone storage. IPhone storage. Right, iPhones are like computers, like I've said 14 times in this video. With a computer, if you run out of hard drive space, it slows down because there isn't enough room for it to do all the reading and writing to the storage that it needs to do. With an iPhone, same deal. Leave a little bit of headroom, otherwise the memory and the phone and the CPU is constantly shuffling things around in and out of memory and it, it slows everything down. Yep. So a couple of good things mm -hmm. you can do, delete apps you don't use. Right. Um, if I just go down this list, I'm sure I'll find one that I don't use anymore. How about the Golf Scope app we downloaded yesterday for a video and I don't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I can either offload that and you won't lose any of your data. It'll just be there if you want to reinstall it later. Or you can delete the app, delete everything, it's gone. Mm -hmm. I'll just offload it for now. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'll save 100 megabytes of space. Another thing that's really helpful here is if you delete your photos, they sometimes wind up in the recently deleted album. So while you've deleted them, they're still taking up storage space in your iPhone. Mm -hmm. And there's a really easy way, you just empty it right here. Delete from this iPhone, 120, 182 megabytes, gone. Gone. Yeah. More storage space now. Right, I'm gonna throw an audible in here and there's one more thing I wanna add to this list. Perfect. It's not an iPhone storage though, it's iPhone analytics. We gotta turn those off. All right, let's go so do let's it. Step back to general and back to settings and then scroll down to privacy and then scroll all the way down to analytics and make sure that all these analytics switches are turned off because analytics are little pieces of data that are sent to Apple and other third-party app developers to help them improve their products. But if this is on, it's, it, your iPhone's gonna be capturing data and saving it and sending it in the background. Mm -hmm. You never notice it's happening, but it is happening. So it is gonna slow down your iPhone just a little bit. And by changing all these settings that are slowing down your iPhone just a little bit, we're gonna yeah. make it a lot faster, hopefully. Yep, so a lot of the time people say my iPhone is slow when I use Safari, and our next tip is gonna address that directly. Right, so let's clear Safari history. Yep. That's what it's gonna be. Yep, we're gonna go back to mm -hmm. the main page of the settings app. Mm -hmm. Scroll down to Safari. Right, all internet browsers work by saving little bits of data on your device. It's called a cache, so that the next time you visit that site, it can load faster. Mm -hmm. When that cache becomes really big, and it can, after you've visited a lot of sites for a long time, that's gonna slow down your iPhone. Also, if you have tons of tabs open, that's gonna slow down your iPhone. Yep. Because each little tab is like its own little process. So what you can do to fix everything at once is just go to here to the bottom. Uh, I tapped on one of the blue links. I did it again. Watch out for those. And then tap clear history and website data. Yep. Beautiful. It's gonna yep. clear your history on all your devices that are connected through your iCloud accounts and it's going to close all your tabs. So the next time you open Safari, let's do it. Not gonna be much of anything in there. Wow, look at that. Yep. So our next tip is to check for an iOS update. Sometimes Apple will release new iOS updates to patch up some bugs, speed things up, improve performance. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a good idea to keep your iPhone up to date as often as you can. Right, especially after the new software release, like yep. in iOS 13. Yep. Sometimes there's bugs they didn't quite catch. Yep. Let's check. So we'll open up the settings app. I'm gonna go back to the main page of the settings app and scroll up to general, tap software update, checking for an update, and I do have one. The next tip that we have is simply to turn your phone off and back on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes software processes can get stuck. This is a very simple fix. I'll show you how to do it on my phone, just because David's doing a screen recording and if he turns it off, it's gonna stop. So on my phone, all you have to do on an iPhone 10 and newer is hold the side button and either volume button until slide to power off a screen appears on the screen, and then swipe across the screen with your finger. Mm -hmm. On an iPhone 8. eight newer, it's, the, it's the power button, older. Yep. Power button, press and hold to slide the power off appears. Swipe left to right, turns off your yep. iPhone. Then hold the side button, turn it back on. Now, if you've done all of these tips, and we recommend that you do, um, our final 
tip for you is to reset all settings to really eliminate a potential software problem that is bogging your iPhone down. Mm -hmm. Reset all settings is kind of a magic bullet. It doesn't fix every single software problem under the sun, but it does fix a lot of them. And you might be floored by how much faster your iPhone is after you do this. Yep. Let's go to settings and then general, all the way down to reset, and then tap reset all settings. And by going through this process, you're not gonna lose any of your data. Yeah, you'll write down your Wi-Fi passwords, it'll reconnect your Bluetooth devices, stuff yep, like that. Your wallpaper again, yep. but that's not a big deal. Yep. And so let's say that your iPhone is still dirt slow and you're using somebody else's iPhone that's exactly the same model and you're saying this person's iPhone is way fast and mine is not. Right. It's very unlikely it's a hardware problem if your iPhone is working well otherwise. If it isn't a hardware problem, you might wanna try a DFU restore. DFU stands for device firmware update, and that is the deepest type of restore you can do on an iPhone. That will erase everything on your iPhone, so make sure you back it up first. But that's what they'll do in the Apple store. If you go into the Apple store and say, hey, I've got a slow iPhone, they will DFU restore it for you. Yep. So that's what to do to speed up your iPhone. Yeah, that's what to do when your iPhone is slow. Mm -hmm. 11 great tips to speed it up. We added that one bonus one so in there. So 12, and then I said the DFU at the end. So 13-ish. 13 13-ish, 13 yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below. Did we speed up your iPhone? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.